All right, we're with head coach Jack Owens after the Red Hawks game against Toledo on Tuesday night. Coach, we'll let you make some opening comments and then open it up for questions. Yes, give Toledo credit. They came in and played well. Uh, obviously, Shoemate, you know, uh, a guy who, you know, has only made two threes, uh, makes six threes. He went six or seven from three. I thought that was obviously the difference in the game. Um, you know, for the most part, we did a decent job on Jackson, Rollins, Littleson. You know, we did a good job on on those guys. But at the end of the day, we have to be better overall. And, um, you know, I played the percentage, you know, early on. And, um, you know, he made some threes over the top um, that obviously he normally doesn't make or take. And um, that was the difference in the game. Uh, and also, I, I thought we got off to a little bit of a slow start. You know, we've been better starting games, um, you know, the last week or two, and we got off to a slow start there. But, uh, but I did like our fight uh, in the second half where we, you know, cut it to four, made the game. Just have to be better taking care of the basketball. You know, I thought in the first half uh, we had some, you know, uh, careless turnovers that allowed them to get out in transition um, that also to let them, you know, allow them to be comfortable playing. Questions for Coach. Coach, obviously, aside from a run here and there, it was a pretty close game all the way through um, against a really good team, as you mentioned. What do you tell your guys after hanging closely with a team like that? Yeah, I mean, we, uh, we, we know we can compete with any team in this league. Um, that's not the issue. We have to be better. You know, I, like I said, we have, we've been playing better. Uh, you know, I thought – there for, like you said, a few stretches there. Um, um, you know, we have to do a better job taking care of the basketball like we've been ha like we've been doing and executing from an offensive standpoint. Um, and also just be better defensive. You have a guy, I get it, man. He, he makes two threes uh, coming in. That you got to find a way to cut his water off. Okay, he makes one. He makes two. Now, now he, he shouldn't get any more after that because he, he convinced me that he could get it off. And that's my job. I do a better job making sure – uh, we're, we're quicker to the ball in those areas. And, and, and I thought they were quicker to the ball on a few offensive rebounds in the first half where I believe they had seven offensive rebounds that, that translate into 13 or 15 points. And, and, and when you, you, know, you look at a game like this, it's going to go down to the wire and be close. You have to do a better job and, and rebound the basketball. It seemed like, Coach, the decisive stretch was – sort of late in the first half when they went on that 13-0 run. What were you seeing from your team uh, at, at that time? I just thought they were quicker to the ball than us. Uh, you know, in, in the first half, I watched film. Um, you know, I, I just thought they were quicker to the ball, you know, and, and, and they, they give them credit. They made plays. They're, they're a good offensive team, and um, they ran their stuff. But I, but I thought – uh, we could have done a few things better um, as well on both sides of the ball. And we'll learn from that. We'll get better. You know, guys guys get a day off, um, a well-deserved day off. We've been going here for a week or two straight. Clearly, this offense is really clicking. Four straight games with 80-plus points or shooting 54% from the field. What do you attribute that to? And, and you feel like you can keep that momentum as you head into this weekend? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, we're, sk we're a skilled team. You know, Toledo's, I think they're, you know, they're the number one offensive team in our league, and we're right behind them. You know, you're talking about we, we did not shoot the three as well as we can. I know MyJ stepped up and made some shots. Uh, you know, we're, we're a skilled offensive team. We just have to continue to do that. I thought our defense and uh, rebounding, um, that has to be better. You know, we I, I thought, you know, like I mentioned, allowing them to get those second-chance points in the first half, just being quicker to the ball, um, it really hurt us because they converted on those. And then the careless turnovers we had to allow them to get out in transition. But but that's on me. I have to have the guys ready to go. Uh, we, like, I, like I said, we're, we're a good offensive team. We're going to continue to share the basketball and take quality shots and shoot a good percentage. But you got to hang your head on defense. And if you, you know, just think about this. If Shoemakes get half of what he did, um, you know, <laughs> we're in a much better position. So that's on me. Uh, I played the percentage in, in regards to our scouting report. Um, but we have to do a better job of once someone make, you know, one or two shots to, 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 to get to them. But that's on me. Coach, you mentioned um, 
you know, how they're going to get a day off. Did you get a sense that they might have been a little uh, fatigued after this, uh, this, this run that they've had over the past few days? Yeah, but we can't use that as an excuse. You know, I, I mean, it is what it is. You know, we, we, we've been going at it. Um, and and it, that's the reason why they were quicker to the ball. Um, you know, it makes sense to a certain degree, but we can't use that excuse. You know, toughness over excuses is what we say. You know, we, we have to have more of a toughness to find ways to get those loose balls and, and then figure out how to win this game because, you know, we're good enough to win the game. I just thought we were a little tentative to start the game and they were quicker to some balls and allow them uh, to get some ch second chance points. Any final questions for coach? All right. Thanks, Coach. We'll see you Saturday. All right. Thank you, guys. Be safe. Okay. Thanks, Jack. Makai Lari, after tonight's game against Toledo, we'll go ahead and open up for questions for Makai. Okay. Uh, Makai, you, you, you guys had that there. Toledo put that little run together uh, toward the end of the first half, and you just couldn't quite dig out of that hole. What was going on during when they, when they were on that 13-0 and 0 run? Uh, we just they hit they hit shots that we didn't really didn't expect, and we started off we started the game off slow. Obviously, that hurts, and that hurt us in the long run. We dug ourselves a hole, <clears throat> and we had a few sloppy, unusual turnovers by ourselves. But we'll fix that and get ready for Saturday. Four games in the last week now. Was there any fatigue out there on the court tonight for you guys? Uh, no, not, no, not really. We were just focused on playing hard as hard as possible. Uh, we knew it was going to be a game. They were a number one team in the conference for a reason. And um, unfortunately, we came up with the low. We didn't come up with the win, but hopefully we'll bounce back Saturday. Second half, you guys came out and really attacked the basket. I know that had to be the game plan coming out of the locker room. Coach saying, okay, look, you know, they're, they're, they're a great defensive team around the three, so we got to attack the basket. Is that what was basically said at halftime? Uh, yeah, basically. We, they, we figured out they were switching a lot of our screens and throughout our offenses. So we had a few mismatches we wanted to attack. And if we attacked the rim, it opened up a lot more things in the second half. And it worked out for us that half. But we started off slow. So, unfortunately, we didn't win. <clears throat> Do you take some solace out of the fact that after that run, you guys pretty much played them even for the rest of the game? Is that something you can build on for the next game? Um, that just shows where we are as a team and you know, when we play the right way and together. Um, like I said, our start, it didn't put us in the best uh, position, but we still had a chance there. We just got to execute and just come up with just make more plays at the end of the game.